Hi, it's me, Dr. Lee, and thank you for joining me. Today's prayer, I'm calling it One Who Pleased God. One Who Pleased God. I'm going to read Hebrew 11, verse 5 from the NIV. Hebrew 11, verse 5 from the NIV. And it says, By faith, Enoch was taken from this life so that he did not experience death. He could not be found because God had taken him away. For before he was taken, he was commended as one who pleads God. Again, Hebrew 11, verse 5 from the NIV. By faith, Enoch was taken from this life so that he did not experience death. He could not be found because God had taken him away. For before he was taken, he was commended as one who pleased God. One who pleased God. Now, now that is like one of my goals in this journey. I want to please God. And I, you know what I'm saying, I, I don't know what all Enoch did, but I know that I have the Bible that I can read and that I can apply to my day-to-day -day life so that I can be on the right path. So if you are someone that wants to please God, the best place that to start is with his word. And with his word, I mean, it's just so much now to learn, to apply, to grow. And by using God's word to, you know, saying, to help you on this path, help us on this path, it's like God has given us like He's given us this key. Like, okay, here's the key. Now you got to take enough time and energy to pick up the key and to utilize the key. You know, you can have a key to a door and or a key to a, a safe or, or anything that's gonna unlock something that's very good, that's a treasure. But if you if you don't pick up the key or take out the time to you know to pick it up and to utilize the key, you're not gonna find out what's behind that door you're not you're not gonna find out what's in that safe i'm not gonna find out what's in that safe i'm not gonna find out what's behind that door so um with um this in order to please god the first place to start is reading his word and when you read his word the next thing you have to do the next thing i have to do that we have to do we have to apply his word to our life it's so easy to read something and not apply it and if you're someone that likes to um to cook or i mean maybe you don't like to cook but you use a recipe every once in a while i mean i used to be really bad at it and it is i mean you get a recipe and you're supposed to be following the recipe and you follow your own thing. You know, you, you take a little bit of here. You say, okay, you know what? I think they got this wrong. Then they want you to put a teaspoon um, um, of salt in. I think that's just a little too much salt, you know, to be going to this dessert recipe. But I'm going to put, you know, I'm going I'm gonna to put a half a teaspoon. Or I'm not going to put any salt at all. And then when you get um, through with the concoction that you made, whatever your, your, your cake, your, your baking or whatever, you say, you know what? You know, this is a little sweet, you know, just ah, just too much sugar. And then realize the little salt that they told you put in there, that they had worked at it and tried and made this recipe, um, you know, several times to perfect it. And and because we never, we, um, you know, we never made it and we're going to sit here and we're going, we're going to tell them how to do it. So we start tweaking it and we hadn't even made it the one time following the, following the recipe. And so now we got something that's too sweet would have, would, would have been just right if we had followed the recipe. So that's what kind of, we kind of do with the Bible. We, we will read it and we may just or read one, two scripture of it or, you know, and we just kind of, you know, take a little bit, bend it, make it fit our situation. Not trying to change, really. Not trying to, um, you know, not really trying to apply it, but want it to work for us, but we won't utilize it. So, I know that with if I can look at like this here, this verse, and I see how um, Enoch was taken from this life and that he didn't experience death, but before, you know, before that, it said before he was taken, he was committed as one who pleased God. One who pleased God. God, I was like, Lord, you know, that's, you know, I love that. I would love, you know what I'm saying, not the God, like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Now, Dr. Lee, she, she, she pleased me, you know what I'm saying? She, she worked hard at it, you know, she, she knew she wasn't perfect, but it was a day-to-day, -day, it was a day-to-day -day journey. It was a, you know, minute by minute, you know, trying to stay on the right path, stay on the right course, and, you know, and not be um, sidetracked or uh, cough guard or lose my focus, you know, or keeping keep my eye on the prize 
And with that, you can do the same. And you may already be doing it. And good for you. Great. If you're already doing it. And maybe you say, you know what? I'm not doing it, but I would love to do it. I'm here to tell you. All you have to do is, like I said, just start with God's word. And just take one scripture and just follow that um, screen. Maybe you want you know focus on that scripture for a month. And say, you know what? I'm going to um I'm gonna read the scripture every day. I got it on the uh, index card. I post it on my, in my car, my refrigerator with it, on my desk. And I'm going to read it. And I'm just going to think about that um, verse. I'm just going to meditate on that verse every day for a month. And I want to go ahead and just start like that. Start slow. You know, it doesn't have to be like, okay, I got to, you know, read the Bible within a day or a week or whatever, you know. I mean, if that's what the Lord telling you to do, I mean, go ahead. But what I'm saying is start somewhere and start small and stick to it. Because once you take that index card or whatever you you use and you um you put that Bible verse on and you stay at it for a month you maybe stay at it for two months that same verse and you know what you stick to it you say you know what now next month I'm gonna do another verse I'm gonna take that verse I'm going to apply it you know I'm going to utilize it to, uh, I'm going to you know make sure I got a great understanding of it I'm going you know saying I'm going to research I'm going to study and so the whole point is that you want to please God because pleasing God, you know, if God took Enoch and just, you know, took him away, he didn't even know experience um, death. And just imagine us here now, we trying to, you know, do our best and God knows our heart. That's the good thing. God knows our heart. He knows our thoughts, our every thought, our, you know, he knows everything about us. And that's what's so wonderful about this because if he knows you really, really are trying to please him and not trying to put on a show for man or for people, you know, that you know, just imagine what, how God feels about that. How imagine, you know, what he can do in your life, my life, our life, you know, what he can do to, you know, how he can manifest himself. And so, they you know, that's, you know, that's just me and my personal thoughts that, you know, that's the journey that, that I'm on. I want to um, please God. No, I know I'm not perfect. I know I'm human and I know that I can have some days better than other days and I can fall short. But my thing is God knows my heart. So even if I do fall short, um, I, I just, you know, say I depend on God. I, I trust him and I know that the Holy Spirit will guide me and lead me because I have to, you know, stay with God's word. You know, I have to keep my my system, my my soul, my mind, my body, you know, just my thoughts, focus on God so that I can remain on this journey. Because I don't want to send the beat, you know, saying I'm not off the journey and then, you know, and just just go down, like, go down the drain. No, I want to, you know, saying if I get knocked off, I want to get it back up and keep it moving. That's, you know, that's what the whole ministry about, keep it moving. So if, you know, something happened, you know, just keep on. You know, maybe you messed up. Maybe you fell short today. Maybe I fell short today. But you know what, Lord, you know my heart, you know. Um, I repent. I, you know, saying I am ask for forgiveness and, you know, and just keep saying and keep it moving. Keep it moving to the next thing and just keep growing and growing and growing and growing. So, I'm going to pray. Father, I come to you. Stand on Hebrews 11, verse 5. In your word, it says, By faith, Enoch was taken from this life so that he did not experience death. He could not be found because God had taken him away. For before he was taken, he was commended as one who pleased God. God, I would love to be commended as one who pleased God. God. So may your Holy Spirit guide me every day, every moment, every minute on the path I should take, the things that I should do, the things that I should reject, and the things that I should discern. All that the Holy Spirit has sent me to do, may I be able to receive it and to apply it. May I be able to receive and apply your word and your wisdom and your knowledge. And so, Father, I just thank you. And my ghost is just, you know, to please and send to please you. And however that I can be used, however you decide to use me, however small, however big, large, medium, whatever, upside down, backwards, whatever, Lord, you want to do, I'm just willing. And I just, that willing vessel for you. Because my desire is to please you and not man. And so, Father, thank you for knowing my heart. And I love you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And so, that's the thing. God knows our, God knows our heart. And so... And he knows when we really want to please him and when we want to please man or please ourselves, or um he knows that you know we're doing something for show or we're doing you know something for credibility or to look good or whatever i don't have time to look the part i want to be the part and so you no know, whatever i may look and it, it, it looks good good if it looks good to man great but i'm more concerned about 
what you know how God sees me and so that's what all our journey should be about what how God sees us and hopefully that you know hopefully that man man or some men some men or women I'm gonna say human beings that you know what I'm saying they can discern that and say you know what that person really loved God but you know the whole point is you're not you know you're not concerned trying to please any in everybody because you know that in this life you know that's like near impossible Jesus didn't um Jesus didn't um do it so don't you worry about doing it. what you do is please God and know that's important and the people that you can influence or have a you know a positive effect on as you go through this journey you know do it and you know and just just keep on trusting God and seeking him so I'm not uh I'm about to skip part. If you came across this video and you do not have a relationship with Jesus Christ, all you have to do is repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. If you have a relationship with Jesus Christ, all you have to do is just continue to grow that relationship. Grow it, grow it, grow it. Be the brightest light you can be. Read your Bible, walk in obedience, and pray, pray, pray. That's what this is all about. Pray. And you see my um my prayers. I would say, you know, they're not all that, you know, deep or, you know, or grand as, you know, some people may feel like prayers need to be. But my prayers they come from my heart you know and i know god knows that and that's what's important and i'm just taught to him and i just and i, I enjoy doing that as much as possible throughout the day so you the same just increase your prayer life talk to god and just you know watch him manifest set himself in your life again read your bible walk in obedience and pray 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 i'm dr lee thank you for watching let go let god in keep it moving take care